Now what we're going to have a look at in this video is adding some more detail to our pond area. Now we're going to start off by creating a extra um, subdivision. Now you can see I've already done this here, so I'm just going to run through that process with you. It's easier to do it on the site plan. So therefore click on your topo solid, use the subdivide command, and then I'm going to edit my one here just so you can see. You've got to then draw your pink line around the actual top of the pond area. Now what I'm going to be doing is putting grass on the top here. So I wouldn't want grass going down the banks and then in under the water as well. So by using this, um, creating a separate area for it, we can create the, the muddy bank. Now, when you draw your pink lines, make sure that they are on the upper edge of the pink bank and on the bank and not on these sloping sections. Otherwise, you may find it won't work. So that then creates your subdivision. Okay, I'm now going to click on the topo solid that we have for the rest of the site and I'm going to edit this. And this is where, of course, we can give it various um, layers and thicknesses, just like you would in a floor construction. So I'm just going to insert one there. Um, I'll call it a finish layer and I'm going to use just grass on the top by there. So let's just find some grass. There we go. And give it a thickness, 25, that'll do. And say OK. So now we can see we've got grass, but we've still retained our muddy bank. Now, what we could do with as well is some plants or trees around the pond area. So this is a little trick we're going to use here. We'll go to the massing and site, site components, and we'll find these little fruit trees. Now, what you can do with a fruit tree, so here's the standard one. Let's just drop a few of these around here. Okay, and you'll notice um, you've got a level you can set them to and offsets from those levels. And if I was to click on that, uh, it's on level zero. So it's just gone straight to the level where I was placing them. Um, what I want to do though, if I click on one of those and go edit type and duplicate it, I can make them different heights. And this is just a neat little trick of giving yourself a bit of variety without having to do anything too complicated. And then you can just edit the height by there and keep the rest the same and say OK. And then we can drop one or two of these four meter ones in instead. So we can change that. And I've already created a couple others. Um, so a one, two, four and six now I've got. So I'll put a couple fours in. And a couple others as well. Two meter ones. I'm going to put a couple actually on the top of the bank a little bit by there just to mix it up a bit more. And then finally, some one meters. And I'm going to put a little clusters of those like so. And that just creates a little bit of extra variety. Um, with your existing families and just improves the visual appearance of that area with the planting that you use.